Now let's discuss about predicting the feasibility of a reaction. The feasibility of a redox reaction can be predicted with the help of the electrochemical series. The net EMF of the cell that is E cell can be calculated from the expression E0 cell which is equals to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. In general if the E0 cell is positive the reaction is feasible. If E0 cell is negative then the reaction is not feasible. So this is how the reaction will be. Let's go with an example. We got to predict whether the reaction is feasible or not. And we have silver plus zinc reacts. It will be yielding silver ion plus zinc. So if you see here the cell half cell reaction that is the half reactions by the side is 2 Ag that is silver. It gives 2 Ag plus ion plus 2 E minus that is electron. So here we can represent E0 equal to 0 0.80 volt. So this one is acting at the cathode. Zinc on reacting with an electron it gives ring metal. So by substituting the values in terms of the formula specification we will be having E0 cell is equal to minus 0 0.763 volt minus 0 0.80 volt. So in both the cases are having a negative indication so we'll be adding and indicating the negative sign. So the value of E0 cell will be minus 1.563 voltage. Since E0 cell is negative as we discussed the given reaction is not at all feasible. Now let us discuss about the metal displacement. So this metal displacement is all about predicting whether a metal will displace another metal from its salt solution or not. So this is the concept of metal displacement. So as already shown, the metals near the bottom of the electrochemical series are generally strong reducing agents and are also themselves oxidized to metal ions. On the contrary, the metal lying upper that is in terms of the higher configuration. If the metal lies higher up in the series are said to be strong oxidizing agents and also their ions are readily reduced to the metal itself. For example, we can say zinc that is lying down below the series is getting to be oxidized to zinc 2 plus ion while copper in this case which is higher up in the series generally produced by reduction of Cu2 plus ion. So this is how it reacts. If a zinc metal is there it gives zinc 2 plus ion with a release of two electrons. Whereas in terms of a copper, copper ion plus this electron when both gets reacted will be getting copper. So you can find here how the reaction of these two takes place. Thus, when zinc is placed in copper sulphate solution, copper metal gets precipitated. In general, we say that a metal lower down the electrochemical series can precipitate the higher up in the series, which is nothing but one higher up in the series. So this is one such important notification of point which we got to have in mind. In general, silver cannot be precipitated. That is, silver cannot be precipitated in terms of copper from CuSO4 solution. This implies that silver cannot precipitate copper from CuSO4 solution since both metals have positions higher up in the series and are considered to be strong oxidizing agents. So this is the depiction of hydrogen displacement. So this is how the hydrogen will be going to be displaced. So if you see about this hydrogen displacement, this one is indicating whether a metal will displace hydrogen from a dilute acid solution. 
any metal above hydrogen in the electrochemical series is said to be weaker reducing agent than hydrogen and it will not convert H plus to H2 that is hydrogen ion to hydrogen. This explains why zinc line below hydrogen reacts with dilute H2SO4 to liberate H2 while copper line above the hydrogen does not react. So this is the one which is going to be reacted and this one the copper which will not react over heat. So this one is the correct reaction and this one will not at all happen.